While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. These, man. So, sis, you got a lot of questions, and that's good. So let's deal with the first one, because the first one you said you was talking about who wrote the Bible, right? You said you said it was. Was that the original thought? So let's start right there. So our original thought was the ways of the world. We didn't grow up knowing this. Give me Titus three and three. We thought the same way that a lot of our people do that's walking around here. But it took for us to see brothers teaching like this and then get the Bible ourselves and read. Like, hold on, wait a minute. What they saying is true. What the Bible is saying is true. Let me look for myself. That's what we encourage everybody. Go research yourself. But one thing that is true, everything this Bible says about our people is 100% fact. 100% fact. The reason why we always questioning everything is because we got somebody else thought process in our mind. That's right. Read this. The book of Titus, chapter 3 and verse 3. Uh -huh. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. Read it again from the top. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. That's why I said we ourselves, we weren't always doing this. We was in the street doing the same, some of the same stuff brothers doing out here. But we heard what the Bible said and understood. You show your love for God by doing what he says. It's just like this. Say a man is with you, right? Supposed to be your husband, right? If he steal from you, he lie from you, he cheat on you, does he love you? He can say he love you all the time, but how does he show that he loves you? By his actions. By his actions. The only way you show God you love him is by your actions, by doing what he says. Read on. Disobedient. We were disobedient. That's why we can stand here and we can talk to our brothers and talk to our sisters because we weren't always doing this all our lives. We can relate. We understand. Same thing with Christ. Christ understood because Christ lived in poverty. Christ lived under the authority of another race of people. So he understood what we went through. So we understand what our people are going through. Because we still going through it ourselves. But we on the path to changing our minds. We trying to get our people to change their minds. Read. Deceived. Deceived. How were we deceived? This is one of the ways we was deceived. I'm sure brothers told you about this right here. This is deception. What comes with this image, I can do what I want. I can do as I please. God love everybody. I can love who I want to love. That's what comes with this image. But just like when we talk to the rest of our people, this ain't our first time doing this. We trying to get you to think. Stop following the ways of the world. This image tells me I can do what I want to do, but when I read the Bible, God says otherwise. The world says two men can be together, two women can be together. But when I go to God, he does not approve of that. The world says I can get high. It's dispensaries everywhere. Am I wrong? It's dispensaries everywhere. But when I read the Bible, God tells me don't defile my temple. So what it boils down to is... Do you love God or do you love the world? Hold on. Read. Serving diverse lust. Serving diverse lust. Meaning people have all type of lust that they go out into the street and they fulfill. Some people lust. They like messing around with animals. Some people, you frown. Is some people into that. So they feel like, remember, this image, which is deception, tells our people on that sign they can do whatever they want but that's not what God says this image says that you can if you a man right black man Hispanic man they can sleep with all the women in the world and God ain't gonna do nothing to them 
God is love. The Bible says the black and Hispanic man got to be with one woman. So who we finna listen to? We gonna keep listening to deception or we gonna listen to God? Because I know the thought. Our people be like, okay, if I follow this book, what's the purpose? How does it benefit me? Second Ezra 7 and 21. The purpose of keeping God's commandments prevents single mother homes, prevents children being orphans, prevents men being incarcerated, prevents baby mama, baby daddy, prevents our people from being drug addicts. That's the benefits of following the Bible. The men you see out here, like I said before, we was once on the other side of these signs involved in a lot of the stuff that a lot of the young men doing. But we cleaned ourselves up by what? By following what God says. Read. Hold on. Hold on. Read. Second Ezra chapter 7 and verse 21. Uh -huh. For God hath given strength commandments uh -huh. to such as came, what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. So, the commandments teach you how to avoid punishment. Now, what was the purpose of creation? The purpose of creation, step down, look at this sign over here. This sign at the very end, it says the 12 tribes of Israel. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. The initial purpose that we had was to follow God's commandments and enforce his rules on earth. We did not do that. Psalms 82. We didn't do that. That's why we at the bottom. We wanted to follow the ways of the world. We wanted to follow same sex. The Bible even talk about some of those things. We wanted to follow worshiping other gods. Watch this. Read. The book of Psalms chapter 82 and verse 5. They know not. Neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. That's the mind state of us now. But before, at the beginning of creation, we were gods. So, God said, let me create this earth and make these rules so these people can do what I tell them to do. That was the purpose. Not just anybody. These chosen people were supposed to lead the charge. I know, but why? I know, but why? Watch this. Read. All the foundations of the earth are out of court. What? All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Everything is in disarray. Why is everything in disarray? Messed up. Why is everything messed up? Watch this. Read. I have said, ye are gods. Those people on this sign, those men on that sign are gods. But what? And all of you are children of the Most High. My brother, the black, Hispanic, and Native American men are gods. We're the gods, the rulers of this earth. But something happened. What it say? Of, of you are all children of the Most High, uh -huh. but ye shall die like men uh -huh. and fall like one of the princes. Because we did not do what God said. We lost all our power, all our authority. That's why we working for everything. Now, you said, but why? Isaiah 55, verse 8. Hey, he, he said, hey, the white people, God's people too. No. That's something else. See, you weren't up here when sis was up here. This image says everybody is God's people. We sitting up here having a conversation about the people on this sign, which includes you. Right. You so-called Mexican, right? Yeah. From what, Secatecas, Jalisco? Uh, yeah, somewhere around there, yeah. Okay, yeah, I know. We talking about our people, and then your mind automatically like, ain't everybody God's people? That's because it is. This in the Catholic Church, ain't it? That's deception. Yeah. The Bible doesn't say that everybody is God's people. And we can prove that. Stand there and wait. Read that. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8. Now this go back to you. You said, but why? Read. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. That's God. He said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. His thoughts are not our thoughts. Read. Neither are your ways my ways. Neither is his ways our ways. Read. Saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, the heavens are higher than the earth. Where God dwells is higher than the earth. Read. So are my ways higher than your ways. So are my ways higher than your ways. Whatever I do, that's what I say. That's what he's saying. You have children? Do you have children? 
nieces, nephews, don't you say, I said what I said. That's what he's saying. He gave us the blueprint. Look, y'all supposed to do X, Y, Z. If y'all don't do what I say, this is what's going to happen. Because when we listen to the, the word of God, we rule the earth. We live good. You can read this in the Bible. But when we started going against what God said, we started dying. We started going to war and losing. We ended up in slavery. That's what happened when we went against God. That's the answer. But why? His ways is higher than our ways. What we do, we try to say, well, why he do this? Why he do that? God ain't got to explain everything to us. We are the children. He is the father. Our job. How long do you punish your children? How long? Give me Baruch 4 and 28. How long? Because she said how long? Oh, day and an hour and this day and that day, but seriously, like, how long do you really punish your children? How long do you punish yours? When they get their mind right, I punish them, and then I say, hey, don't do that no more. Once they stop, that's it. I might say, you can't go outside for X amount of days. The behavior change, then they off the punishment. Our behavior has not changed. I'm talking change. about the people on this side. Of course their behavior changed. Are we still robbing and stealing from each other, sis? Are we still killing each other? Our brothers still impregnating our sisters and not taking care of the children. Just like the officer told you, the longer we misbehave, that's the plain way of saying it. The longer we misbehave, the longer the punishment gonna go on. Hold on, let me show you something, read. Baruch chapter four and verse 28. For it was our, your mind to go astray from God. Before, it was our mind to go away from God. When you read the Bible, it tell you, we started serving other gods, trying to figure out what the other races do, and we do that today. Why are we celebrating 4th of July and that has nothing to do with us? You see what I'm saying? These are questions that we ask and we never get an answer. We just get told, oh, shut up. Just do it. The family doing it. But that's not our culture. This Bible is our culture. Doing those things got us in this predicament. Read. So being returned, seek him to. So being returned, we gotta return to who? To God. Read. Seek him ten times more. We supposed to seek God ten times more. God allowed me to hit His word, hit His knowledge. I'm finna go ten times harder for God. Especially if you was going ten times harder in the world. But we must return to God. Do you understand that? Get Hosea 12, uh, 11 and 6. Hosea 11 and 6. We got to return to God. We try to go to Islam, Buddhism, Christianity, uh, Mormonism. Some of our people even dealing in witchcraft. But none of those things bring you back to God. This is the only book that tell you what God think, what God feel. And it boil down to what? If you love God. That's it. Read. The Quran recites these things. It's a repeat. But the Quran is attached to what? Islam. Whose religion is that? Think about it. And, and when I'm, I'm talking to you, whose religion is it? That's the religion of the Arabs. That's their religion now, but how you know their religion wasn't stolen? You can look it up. You can look at, that's why we tell our people, you can research it yourself. Islam is the religion of the Arabs. Just like, I, I, don't, I don't believe everything I read. Just like, I, okay. Well, since we want to talk about what we read. Uh, My brother. We're talking about Jesus and everything like that. Uh, as his name Jesus, when the letter J wasn't even in the alphabet until 1442. Where you hear that at? I read it. You heard that. I read it. You want me to Google you it? You heard I that. I read it. You know how many. Listen, listen. I'm Talk talking to you. It. Right. I read it. Our people say that all the time, but not knowing, but listen, not knowing or knowing or not knowing the when the letter J was invented is not going to change that mindset. We trying to get out this punishment. No, I just want to get out the punishment. Right. How, you know you How do I know? Everybody thinks that religion is right. Everybody I don't follow religion. I'm doing what God says. 
Read that. The book of Hosea, chapter 11 and verse 7. And my people are bent to backsliding from me. Though they called them to the most high, none at all would exalt him. So what is he saying? He got the habit of going against what God says. We don't like rules. We don't like instruction. We don't like following simple rules at our job, in our neighborhood, nothing. That's why we in this condition. And remember what I read before. God's laws stop us from getting into bad situations. Then you said, but what about free will? Here's the choices. What's your name? I didn't get your name. What's the way back? What's the way back? Perfect. Give me uh, 1 Kings 8 and 46. So what's the way back? I want to deal with the free will thing. Here's our choices, right? Because we, we say, okay, well, don't we got free will? Don't we get to pick? These is your choices. Give me Deuteronomy 30 and verse 19. These is our choices. God, okay, we got free will, but these are your choices to pick from. What's your name? Jonathan. These are your choices to pick from. We know what choice we picked. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30 and verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death. Those are your choices. So which one you going to pick? You got free will. Which one you going to pick? Life, I do what God say, I'm going to live longer, I'm going to stay out of certain situations. Death, I'm going to do what I feel. Doing what I feel, got Chicago Long. Doing what I feel, got Inglewood. Doing what I feel, got the murders that's going on in Detroit. The murders that's going on in Memphis. Drug dealer, gang bang. That's doing what I feel. That's the death. Three, blessing and curse. Blessing and cursing. I know they went over Deuteronomy 28 with you. Talking about how we going to be blessed. How we going to be cursed. That was the agreement. If the people on this side listen, you'll be blessed. You'll live lavishly. You'll rule over all races on the earth. If you don't do what I say, punishment. Right. Death. That's what it is. It wasn't an agreement. It's a... What no, I when said. I say covenant, right. Covenant. That's what it is. It covenant means... Listen. Covenant. Contract. Agreement, I'm trying to say plain words so everybody understand what covenant is referring to. This, look, this the law right here. This the plan. You follow the plan, you get rewarded. You don't follow the plan, it's going to be punishment. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth